Well, it turns out that, and who knew, uh, stingrays are artists. The Greater Cleveland Aquarium has a new session, and it actually lets you paint mm -hmm. using the stingrays. I can't wait to see this. This is one to take your kids to for sure. It's a fun family place, and Lindsay Buckingham is there with a first look at how this happens. What is going on out there with those stingrays, Lindsay? Hey, Jay and Betsy, I've since calmed down from the uh, first demonstration. <laughs> that was very cool. I'm not knocking it. I'm much more comfortable in the painting thing. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a clipboard, blank canvas. Joining me now, you're not going to believe this, is Ray Hoppick. Good morning, Ray. Uh, good evening, Ray, I should say. How are you? Um, I'm all <laughs> flustered from the painting still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me how this works, and this is very cool because you guys, this used to be a private thing where if you had private events, you could book a session, but now they are opening up nice. this to general admission. Correct. We're going to add this to our Saturday schedules at 11 a.m. This will be open to the public. Uh, anyone can walk up and purchase a ticket to do it. Okay. And how this works is we've got some food in the end of this apparatus. All righty. The stingrays are going to try to get the food out of there, and that's going to cause the paint for us to move around. Oh. And then we just have to main, uh, maintain contact with that clipboard. Uh, don't press too hard or you'll right. stop it. Just uh, gentle enough, and it'll zigzag all over the place. So tell how this is working. Us, because there's a ball of food yeah, down Yeah, so down right? at the bottom here in the water, we've got a ball with some food. It's got shrimp. It's one of their favorite snacks that's what we were using earlier okay and they're gonna try to get the food out of that's actually just a dog toy we've repurposed <laughs> for our needs and as they move that around to manipulate it and get the food out it's gonna make this arm on the apparatus move and it's gonna make painting motions up at the top I'm not kidding you guys I am not forcing this this thing is coming in hot at my yeah. face <laughs> <It is exactly laughs> to the the clipboard, you guys. and what's really cool is a lot of places other zoos and aquariums do paintings like this with the animals mm -hmm. and they let the guests buy them at raffles or in the gift shops but you never actually get to be the one interacting with it it's always done by the staff we're one of the very few places that allows a guest to actually do the interaction with our animals and it's good for the animals too right it is it's a form of enrichment so enrichments anything where an animal gets a chance to try hard Harder for their food, interact with their environment differently. So zoos and aquariums, you'll zoos, you'll see like the balls and the big cat exhibits or puzzles and stuff. This is just another way for our animals to forage and find their food, and it gets them more engaged and more active in the exhibit. Ray, thank you so much. I love that, Mr. Ray. Jay and Betsy, look, they drew a little picture of you That's guys. Pretty cool. See, Jay, Betsy, isn't that beautiful? And the brand colors too. L Lindsay, Can I get thought extra brownie points for that. I thought you were going to play a joke on us, and I thought right, you so were anyway, going to turn the clipboard around, and it would be our logo. Um, Mona Lisa and, and you don't or something. Wait for the private party. You can come on down and do it yourself. So we'll That's send it back cool. to you guys. Thanks so much, Lindsay. I love that. I put my four-year-old up against that stingray anytime. <laughs> it looked like my finger Just painting. Let it go. But that's a really neat thing to have a talking uh, little feature in your house.